interviewing, interviewing, what are we talking about interviewing? It's like, I'm in a job. I've got it made. Or uh, jobs are easy to come by because last time I, had, I needed a job, I called a couple of my buddies and we were up and running and I was in between jobs for a month or so and then I was back working again. Well, today it's a whole different world and I uh, retired from pharmaceutical sales where I was for 35 years and I was done working, and, but I started going to a few networking meetings just to keep busy and I started doing workshops on interviewing and resumes and plans of action and things and, and realized that people have tremendous skills and there's jobs, position descriptions that require those skills. But the, the chasm is like, it's not like a jump over a creek. It's like the Grand Canyon because the skill now is not only the skills you have as project managers and directors and IT, but it's the skill of navigating that process to get in front of somebody so you can impress upon them that you can do that job. Because many of you have done interviewing, probably all of you have interviewed other people. And so you know where that whole thing is and you know who to look for and how to hire them, but when it's the other way around, it's a different ball game. And folks that are already working, we're interviewing every day, right? For the next promotion, the next opportunity, to keep our job if there's a downsizing. I've done about 3,000 interviews over 40 years, and I've hired about 300 people, and I've, I've turned down about uh, 2,000 people because what I'm looking for in the interview process and what you look for in the delivery process is how closely can you align with this and the bottom line is the bottom line. And that's why I always put result on the bottom because when I have people going in for an interview, when Karen was going in for her last interview, she was driving in her car and she parked at CVS and before she went in and we reviewed her plans to make sure that she came across as strongly as she did. And we talked about all this, and the bottom line, and if Karen heard it once, you heard it a thousand times, I say, what's it all about? Karen says, result, result, result. So even though we know that, sometimes we forget. So what I do is remind people that as I'm sitting across the table interviewing you, brag, tell, tell me about yourself, tell, tell me all the successes, your accomplishments, because that's how I'll make a hiring decision. And that's how you will when you're in those managerial positions and, and, and you're doing those hires. So interview skills, me, why do I need interview skills? Well, oftentimes if we're out of a job, we need to move into a job, right? We need to get hired, we need to get in front of people, we need to be ready, because when that time comes, a lot of times we get that 20 minutes, half an hour, and that's it. So we gotta be ready to move in. When we get on the job, we want to sometimes move up. You know, after a year, two years, normally, which is the turnover rate, the average employee will turn over every two years. So we want to move up in the company. We want more responsibility. We want more income, more benefits. We want to move over. We might want to move sideways into a different department. And it's nice if we're interviewing with that department head or they know us or we've done projects for them successfully because basically we're being interviewed all the time. Because a lot of, I mean, I've made decisions on people leaving the company or staying with the company based on my relationship with them because I got to know them. So the more we can get to know people we work with at every level, the better chances are we're going to be there for a long time. Also, we, we oftentimes move on and somebody will send us to a different department or a different company or a different division. And a lot of times we're going to move out because it's just not the job for me. It's I've been here. It's not where I'm going. It's, and, and I have a lot of clients, or a lot of uh, a lot of candidates I work with who will get a job. A year later, they'll call me and they'll go, you know what, Bill, I've enjoyed this, but it's time to move on. So they're, they've been interviewing and they're practicing, and it's a skill like anything else.